Deb Sheldon, and I'm running for State Senate. Um, I want to thank you, first of all, for inviting um, us here tonight to speak to you. Um, many of you I met on Saturday at the chili lunch, and I want to thank you again for that. That was really good, and we had a great time. We had a really fun time, and it was so nice meeting everybody and getting to talk to people one-on-one, -on -one, you know, for a while first. And so that was, it was, it was, um, really enjoyable to, to meet everybody there. Um, I want to start off and tell you that we're going to have our official kickoff um, December 12th at Devana's in Cold Spring. And they're on um, Highway 27. And I'd love to have all of you there. The old guys and dogs. Yep, it was yeah. the guys and dogs. And what time did you say it was? At six. six. At six o'clock. December 12th. Okay. Um, so what I wanted to do tonight, because I did talk to, I did speak a little bit um, at the Saturday lunch. Um, I just wanted to um, share a few things about my background and uh, my, my personal guidelines that um, will lead me on this journey for the next 188 days. Mm -hmm. It's counting, <laughs> and you know, probably a couple hours. <laughs> well, my decision to run came after a lot of soul searching and thoughtful prayer with my family. Um, we always pray for our country, hoping that God will intervene and you know try and put our country and our state back on the right track. And um, you know, we we keep you know hoping that He'll He'll put his hand back on us, but I don't think it's just up to him, it's up to us. And until we make that effort and until we make that, you know, make that move, you know, it's, it's going to be a while. Before I became a minister, um, I preached for uh, about five years, but before that, when I had given my life to Christ, I had promised him that I would follow him wherever he led me. And um, I took the promise very seriously, and a lot of times I didn't understand where I was going or why I was going, but, you know, I made that promise, so um, I kept it, and I always trusted him. Um, later on, some of those moves made sense. Some of them I'm still waiting to figure out, <laughs> and I just know that, you know, eventually I'll find out. I feel that now. I feel that same kind of draw now as far as running for office. Um, I, I think that we need to um, get good, strong, conservative, God-loving people into our government um, in order to make a difference. Um, I think that, you know, he is intervening now with the people he's pulling in. We've got some very, very good people that are coming out and running and, you know, standing up. So I believe that our prayers are being answered and he is intervening. Our Commonwealth needs some good, strong, conservative leaders to put it back on track and to um, try and get things done. So I want to start off and tell you a little bit about me. Um, first of all, I'm going to tell you who I'm not. I am not a lawyer. <laughs> and I think there are plenty of lawyers in Frankfurt, and we probably don't need any more. I'm not a politician. <clears throat> in fact, this is the first time I've run for office. And um, speaking in front of you tonight, I'm almost as nervous as when I gave my first sermon. It's just not quite the same. <laughs> um, I am not someone who will be bullied out of a challenge. I won't sit back and watch all the silliness that goes on in Frankfurt if something needs to change and if something's not right. I have a voice and I intend to use it. Um, but here's who I am. I'm a mother. I'm a devout Christian. I'm 100% pro-life. And I'm a veteran. I am for right-to-work legislation. I'm for protecting our rights to own guns and to carry them. I'm for returning the power back to the local governments, the cities, the counties, the states where it belongs, as the Tenth Amendment requires us to do. 
and for listening and learning about your concerns and about your family's concerns before I vote, before when the bill comes to find out how it really will affect you and your family. I'm for stopping the out of control um, unelected boards and commissions that are taking over and spending our tax dollars, and they're not accountable to anybody. They just can come in and regulate us into the ground, and that needs to stop. I am for ending the Common Core Standards. I am for solving our pension problems. I am for reintroducing industrial hemp so that we can get um, our farmers back to work. We need to do it now rather than later because we've got to give them a cash crop so that they can get working and um, in some cases save their family farm. I'm for creating jobs and protecting small businesses and family farms. I'm for ensuring that Northern Kentucky University receives a sh the fair share amount of the tax dollars that, goes, that go to all of the universities. I am committed to find the best answer to the heroin problem in Northern Kentucky. Um, it's not necessarily about throwing money at it. It's not necessarily about locking people up and you know throwing away the key. There are other solutions and I want to make sure that we find the right one to get rid of it all together. Um, and most, most importantly, I am focused on today's problems and working at getting um, our families back to where we should be. Um, our, our households, you know, with the farms and the jobs and everything, I wanna find out what is best for you and I wanna be a part of making it right and making Kentucky a better place to live and where it used to be. So tonight um, I came because I need and I'm asking you for your support, for your friendship and most of all for your prayers for this journey that we're going on. Um, together I think we can keep fighting to make Kentucky the place it was, the place that we want to live, the place that we still want to raise our, our children. So if you are for the same things that I am for, I've got a um, sheet pack there to sign up. I'd love to have you on my team in this incredible journey that we're going on. It's it's, I think it's going to be a wild ride. We are going to have a storefront office here in Brooksville, and we'll need people to man that and to you know work the phones and things like that. So it's it's moving along um, pretty well, and we are really excited about where we're going. And again, I want to thank you so much for having us, and God bless you, and God bless your family.